Ford Mustang Mach-E is eating into Tesla's U.S. sales. You sent me this story. I was kind of surprised by it. I said, are you sure, Willie, dude? They're really eating into it? But I read the article. It kind of makes sense. Up until recently, what was your other option from a Tesla EV that you really felt was like a cool EV? There wasn't many. Like, it's the first time there's a real option. And we had the Mach-E in the studio. And it's definitely not that car over there. No. But it's actually... Kind of nice, the Mach-E. I mean, it is, yeah. I'm not going to lie, man. That thing is here to compete for sure. I uh, I was surprised by the fit and finish of it, quality that they put together, and uh, and the focus that they put onto it, certain design decisions and the versatility of the vehicle. Somehow they made a thing almost look like a coupe, but meanwhile, it's a four-door small SUV. Mm-hmm. And look, at is this Mo's B-roll on here? Mo, did you shoot this B-roll on the Mach-E? So shout out Mo as well. He's very proud of it. Well, yeah, it's it's great. Good job. I mean, it, look at this stuff. There's camera movement and uh, look at the transitions. I think that's a rim right there. This was a big day. It was studio yeah. cleared out. Every time there's a car in here, it's a fun time. Mm-hmm. And that was the most controversial part of it was the fact that it had this badge on the front because people were like, "That can't be a Mustang. Right, yeah. We mean electric Mustang." and Mustang used to mean something different, but if we put that to the side and just look at the vehicle as it is, that was a cool vehicle. Yes. And uh, so I'm not surprised that they gobbled up a little bit of market share from Tesla. Uh, Tesla has lost, what do they say here? Tesla shared the US EV market fell to 69% in February, which is down 81% from a year ago. So it's not a crazy drop, right? What are we talking about? 12%? Tesla's U.S. sales are still climbing, though, according to analysts. So we're just talking about increased appetite for EV stuff in general, right? More sales for everybody, but market share changing hands a little bit over here. Uh, The new electric offerings from traditional automakers resulted in their combined U.S. EV sales more than doubling to 9,527 vehicles. And Ford's Mach-E, which won SUV of the Year honors this year, Started deliveries late January, accounted for 3,739 February sales, according to figures from Ford. Now, Ford didn't say specifically. uh, They did not say, what did they say? Let's see here. Hang on a second. Did not say, did not comment on Morgan Stanley's analysis. That's where these figures came from. However, the spokesman did say that the company's, that 70% of Mach-E buyers were new to the company, were new to Ford. Oh. You follow me here? So they they could have been previous Tesla owners or some other automaker, but they were fresh buyers, hmm. which would seem to indicate that that market share may have shifted. So anyway, I mean, it's good news all around. I think he, even you go and talk to Elon Musk, I don't think he's very bitter about it. I think he did have some sort of a uh, few statements. Uh, he's talked at length and the electrification of the yeah. automobile segment has the been picture. has been a target, and and it, you, you got to get the ball rolling. I mean, they really got the ball rolling, proved proved it was a thing that others should be doing, and then now look at look at us now. There's options that exist, and and for the record, sixty nine percent of the market share is still a a healthy chunk for Tesla right. in February, and we'll see what happens. They start shipping the Cybertruck and continuing to build out their their. Uh, number of offerings mm-hmm. you know 